What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Guns Locked. I'm Gunther Gray and we're doing the questions still. We're doing this thing to where we answer questions every single day of this week. So you guys snapped me questions because I sent on a snap saying, hey, snap me questions because I'm doing a Q&A and I'm answering these questions one by one on the channel. So I'm picking one question so that I can reach out to a certain crowd where this question is specifically for and I'm answering that for you guys. So today we're going to see what questions we got and we're going to pick one and answer it for you guys and make sure that it generally helps out every single person. So let's get into this question. All right, so we got a video right here. What up, Chase? I just got my hair retwisted and they're a little thin. Any tips on how to get my hair thicker with just patience? Lover underscore boy 6911. And that is a good question. Like I said in yesterday's video when I was talking about combining the dreadlocks using rubber bands or the crochet needle, and those both have their strengths and they both have their weaknesses. But guys, when it comes down to it, when you're starting your dreadlocks, they do start out very skinny or they can start it thick as well. But know this, when your dreadlocks are starting, if you guys haven't started your dreadlocks yet or you plan on starting them, keep this in mind. That when you start your dreadlocks, you start twisting them. And when you twist them, they're gonna start out really, really skinny. Like say this is the dreadlock and this is how it turns out when you first twist it. Like it's not gonna stay like this always. Believe or not your hair almost fluctuates what I mean by that is that throughout the time it'll kind of get fat and then it'll be skinny could get fat at times and get skinny at times it just depends on how the whole process is going during the earlier stages your hair does seem a little more frizzy if you're not maintaining it all the time so if you're maintaining it by twisting it all the time your hair will relatively stay skinny but me for instance if you're not maintaining it which I don't the hair tends to get some girth to it and by girth I mean like it just gets wider and if you think about it it does kind of make sense when your hair gets longer it's growing into the dreadlock and your hair just starts to fluff up and it gets thicker and it makes the hair strong like my thickest dreadlock for instance this one right here I didn't think it was gonna turn out this thick which it didn't start out that thick as you guys can tell the tip is skinnier than the width as it goes deeper in. And that's kind of how it started out. It started out like this. And then as it goes down, it gets thicker. And the reason it does that is because of the whole matting process. And all of this does happen naturally. And the whole point I'm really trying to get across is that during the time of dreadlock is that your hair does go through a stage to where it does get thicker. But keep in mind, as your hair gets tighter and tighter and tighter and it locks better, it will start to get skinnier. So it does like go back and forth and it goes hand in hand. It's really weird. And it's really just a cool process to look at and see. So me having dreadlocks personally, when I see my hair and I see it go through these different stages, which it does go through different stages all the time considering that your hair does grow all the time you just notice these little things and my hair was just getting longer I noticed that it got more fluffier and as I got more fluffier it actually had more time to lock up and by locking up it gets tighter so at the same time of it getting fluffy or puffing up it does get tighter in a sense but the whole thing about it is you do really have to be patient with it if your hair isn't how you want it to be just be real patient and it will turn out how you want it to be and you just go through that whole kind of cycle if you're that kind of person to where you're like man I don't like how my hair looks at this point just wait it out and see how it looks in a few months and trust me you'll definitely change your mind but from my personal experience what I want to tell you guys is that when you start hitting dreads they can be skinny and as they get longer they will get thicker that's almost a promise unless you're doing some sort of thing to where you're maintaining it to stay skinny like twisting it very tight or crocheting it really tight but I think that's really unnecessary unless you really want to go for that look but like I say so many times it is your hair do what you want to do with it exactly what I do like I do whatever I want with my hair because it's my hair and don't let anybody tell you like don't do that because it's weird or don't do this like it's your hair do what you want to do. But guys, I really hope that answers your questions if you guys had questions about that. And if you do have any more questions, please hit me up in the comment section. I'll definitely get back to all of you guys because I really want to communicate with you guys. And if you guys want to hit me up, you can hit me on my socials, which is Snapchat and Instagram. I'll definitely get back to you guys. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys have not already. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.